Welcome to Kids Church. We're so glad you guys get to join with us today. Today we're learning about the names of God. We're learning about one of Jesus's names, which is Christ Messiah, which is saved one. So let's read a story and see how he is the Christ. God loves us very much, even though he doesn't love our sin. He wanted to save us so we could live with him forever. The only way would be for someone to take our place, someone perfect, without sin, someone willing to take our punishment for us. God has a son. He loves this son a lot. This son never sinned, not even once. God thought about our sins and his perfect son. God decided on a plan to save us. He would send his son, his only son, to this world to take our place. That son would have to live on earth, die, and suffer the pain of living apart from God. God's son would live in this world just as we do. He would need feet, hands, head, arms, a body like ours. And so God sent him to this world as a baby. God was his father, but a lady named Mary would be his mother. This baby would still be God like his father, but he would be a regular person too, like his mother. He would be God and man together. An angel came down to Mary and said, You are going to have a baby, and you will call him Jesus. I know you aren't married, but don't worry. God is the father of this baby. Jesus is his son. Mary was excited. She was thrilled. She would be the mother of God's son, baby Jesus. She was eager to tell her boyfriend Joseph the good news. They were planning to get married. After they were man and wife, Joseph and Mary were eager for this child to be born. Jesus, the savior of men, would grow up in their home. Nine months later, the governor sent out a law ordering everyone to go back to the city where they were born. He wanted to count the people so he knew how much tax money he should collect. This happened very close to the time Mary's baby was ready to be born. Traveling now would be hard, but it was a command. Everyone had to go, so Joseph packed a few things and put Mary on a donkey. They traveled for a long time, days and nights. It was about 75 miles. That's a very long ride, especially on a donkey. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a room to sleep in, but everyone they asked had no extra room. So many people were in town that every bed was filled. Mary was tired. Joseph's feet burned from the long walk. They would have to stay somewhere. Finally, one man said that they could sleep on the hay in his barn. Joseph and Mary were glad. At least they could sleep. While they rested on the hay, they heard some cattle chewing their feed. Others were sleeping noisily. There were the sounds and smells of animals. It certainly wasn't fancy, but it was a place to rest. That night on the hay in the barn, God's son was born, baby Jesus, the savior of all men. God must have loved us a lot to send his only son to be born in a barn. Instead of having doctors and nurses around him, baby Jesus was surrounded by animals. Mary wrapped some clothes around him and laid him in a box that held hay. Baby Jesus didn't even have a baby bed of his own. He was laid in a manger, and that's how Jesus came to this earth. Waiting, waiting, waiting for Jesus. Waiting for your birthday, waiting for Christmas, waiting for grandparents to come visit you, waiting for summer, waiting for winter, waiting, waiting, waiting. Most of us don't like to wait, but good things are worth waiting for. God's people waited for a long, long time for the one that God promised to send, who would make things right again, the Messiah, which is a Hebrew word, and Christ, which is a Greek word. Both mean sent one or anointed one. God first promised to send a rescuer all the way back in the Garden of Eden, in the very beginning of time. After Adam and Eve had sinned in the Garden, he promised that he would send a rescuer to come and save us from the curse of sin. God gave that promise again and again throughout history. He did not let his people forget that he promised to send them a rescuer. His messengers, the prophets, they said things like, your king is coming to you. He does what is right and he saves. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. Zechariah 9.9 9. The Israelites watched and waited. Sometimes they forgot, but God never forgot his promise. He knew exactly what he was going to do and when, 
And at the right time, God sent the rescuer, and that is Jesus. News about Jesus traveled from town to town. Was this really the Christ? Was this really the promise that God had made to all of his people all those years ago? Crowds began to follow Jesus everywhere. And when he rode into town on a donkey, people finally started to believe. They held a big parade. The Messiah had come. This was something worth waiting for. Still today, many people don't know what Jesus has done, that he came down as a baby, and when he was all grown up, he died on the cross so that all of our sins can be forgiven and we can be washed clean. It's up to us to tell people about Jesus through our words and our actions so that they can know that God loves them. And we can be thankful for all that God has done. And one way we can be thankful is through worship. So let's do a song. He 
thanks for joining us. We love you guys. We're going to pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all that you've done. Thank you that you became the Christ and that you died for us so that our sins can be forgiven and we can be washed clean. Help us to see how you are our Christ and Messiah in all things. In your name, amen. Bye.